What's up everybody, it's King Kunta, and today I'm going to bring you yet another gold farming video. And yeah, I know, this is going to be like four in the fourth day. Can you believe that? It's actually making me sick, and you can probably hear it in my voice. But, today we're going to be showing you a gold farm that you can potentially make... I'd, I've seen people make around 150,000 gold just from this farm alone, uh, just farming it for a while. And uh, we're going to be farming crafting reagents that are going to craft some very nice transmog pieces. And uh, I really think you guys are going to like this one because they're pretty easy to get to drop and it's an easy way just to bring in a bunch of extra money. And uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to check those items out of the auction house right now. So as you can see, you probably searched up. If any of you are familiar with the Cobra scale pieces, you'll know how much gold they go for. So I'll look it up for you. All right. So these are the Cobra scale uh, transmog items. As you can see here, the prices on these are pretty high. Uh, it's mainly rogue transmog uh, people that are looking for these. So you can see it, it's a real roguey look. Uh, I mean, forgive the way I said that, I guess. But yeah. So these are the pieces that you're going to be crafting with the Cobra Scale. And uh, what we're actually going to be farming is the Cobra Scale. And uh, you can see these are the prices in my auction house right now. Um, that's just for 10 of them. And yeah, this is, uh, most servers are probably a little bit more than this, because my server tends to be, uh, uh, doesn't sell crafting patterns, like, uh, as expensively as other servers, I guess that's the easiest way to word that. But, uh, yeah, so you can see this guy has 10 of them listed for 25,000 gold, that's not, uh, too bad right there. So, I'm gonna give you a little tips and, uh, tricks as, uh, when you're posting these on the auction house. All of the patterns for the transmog with these items end in even numbers. So you're going to want to post uh, on the auction house like uh, stacks of two because those are going to sell out easier. People that use odd numbers, if you're a crafter, you want to buy the exact amount that you need. You don't want to buy more because then you're going to have to relist it, right? So the easiest way to do that that I've found is just list only two of them on the auction house uh, at a time and just stack up, like list a ton of stacks of two and you'll be able to sell them off uh, very quickly as this transmog piece is uh, in high demand right now. So that's about all I had to show you at the auction house. So what I'm going to do right now is everyone knows we're going to cut the video and uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to travel to the farming location and I'm going to teach you guys how to farm it, the easiest way to do it. All that fun stuff, so I'm going to cut the video here, and we'll see you at the location. Alright everybody, welcome back, and we are actually at the farm now. As you can see, there's uh, basically just a big group of uh, big slithery snakes over here, so we're going to go ahead and teach you how to farm all these, minus that guy, he does not matter. So, today we are located in the Outland, so I don't have to say Calamundor, so everyone makes fun of me. And we are in Shadow Moon Valley. If you don't know where that is, it is right here in Outland. And we're right in this area right here, right in front of the cave. So as you can see, I should this is pretty obvious. You guys should probably know where this is. And uh, if you don't know how to get out, get to Outland, it is the portal in your main city. So for Stormwind, you're going to go to the Mage Tower. For Orgrimmar, you're going to go to that little cave that those gross horde people live in. So... The main thing we want to kill is these snakes right here, because when you skin these, they will drop the uh, the scales that we're looking for that you saw in the first part of the video. So yes, you are going to need skinning, and that's going to make it easier. Also, Dark Moon Fire Water always will increase your skinning, and that is a very good idea to go ahead and pick that up. So also, I recommend you have Bear Tartar. It's not a necessity, but it does help uh, in all these situations, and basically you go around you kill these, you can loot them if you want, you're not really going to get much, but the main thing we want to do is we want to skin these, okay? Skinning is the most important uh, aspect of this farm, uh, it's the most important in that you have to do it, basically. But while you are skinning these, like, as you can see, I'm able just to one-shot all these really fast, and uh, there's actually some pretty big groups if you look uh, right here, see that was pretty much all of them. These are linked with the spawn uh, in the cave so what you want to do after you kill all these out here and none more are spawning you can run into the cave and wipe out the rest of them and uh, it'll actually force the mobs outside to force spawn so I'll just show you the inside of the cave real quick uh, you can see it's kind of a mess there's some that spawn like just inside just outside of it and uh, you probably don't have to go too far into the cave because it's not really going to be worth it 
But yeah, that's how you get the ones outside of floor spawn, so you can continuously loot them. Um, this is not one of those farms I recommend you have a bunch of people do, because you're not going to be able to share, like, any loot at all because of skinning, basically. Like, I recommend keeping this to yourself, and after you see this video, probably don't even tell your friends about it, because they're going to want to go do it. Because uh, this is an easy way to make extra gold, and, uh, like, these things sell pretty quickly. And uh, it's almost like... Uh, a kind of like hidden thing that not a lot of people talk about. So you can also pick up moats of water from some of them. Uh, it may or may not drop. I don't know. It's not really the reason you're here, though. The reason you're really here is for the uh, uh, the scales that you're gonna get after you skin them. So, like I said, you're gonna want to go ahead wipe everything out here that you can and also wipe the inside of the cave it'll force all these to forest respawn and then you'll be at a good position you'll be able to just get them all so as you can see here I'm just kinda like picking up like all the useless stuff but also I'll show you here so we were at this location here we're gonna go over here where there is another group of them I will show you once we get over here as you can see there's only a group of uh, around two or three basically that you're gonna want to kill over here you can come here it's definitely not as lucrative as the other location the other location actually is uh, much more worth your time than this one just because of how densely packed they are it makes everything just a lot easier and uh, yeah so I definitely recommend going to the other location not really this one but if you're in a pinch someone else is just constantly farming this one over here you can always just fly right back over here and you're gonna be able to kill a bunch of them the easiest way I have seen this farm done in the past and by myself, uh, just running it a few times, what I do is I run around the outside, wipe all of them, and uh, basically that, like, as much as I can, I skin everything I can, and then I run inside the cave and wipe everything in there and skin that. Now, some occasions you are going to come to this farm, and there is going to be <clears throat> a guy or two basically out here doing the same thing after I post this video. So... You're going to want to go over here if that's too busy because you can always just uh, come back once that guy leaves or uh, whatever he's up to. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how I farm this location. I basically just run around the outside and work my way up to the top and uh, wipe everything. And then after that, they will force respawn. Uh, yeah, so basically come over here, kill all these mobs that you can and uh, skin them. Uh, I wouldn't really bother with any other location. There may be a few of them, but really it's not even worth your time uh, just because of how far away they are. Like, it doesn't it doesn't make sense for you to do that when you could just sit there and skin all of them. Um, now, I've seen people pick up, you know, five scales in like ten minutes, which is uh, pretty good for skinning. And uh, you're also going to get some extra, like, weird leather and stuff with that as well. But yeah, so. I just told you guys everything. You guys should be ready to go out into the open world and go ahead and uh, start farming this for yourself. Um, things to remember, Dark Moon Firewater, get Bear Tartar, that good stuff. You have to have a skinning person. If you cannot skin, you cannot do this farm. Please, take that to heart. If you can't skin, you can't do this farm. And as you can see, they're not responding because they didn't wipe anything in the cave. So if this you ever come to this issue, that's uh, your go-to trying to answer all the questions so that you guys don't have to come back and try to rewatch this video or uh, like worry about anything so yeah you should be good that should be enough uh, information for you guys to go ahead and continue and uh, you should be pretty well off with this farm I definitely suggest doing it it's a good way to make a ton of extra gold and since they sell so easily it's a good way just to buff your uh, uh, gold in income basically because uh, you're going to want to buy those WoW tokens now. And uh, hopefully I'll have a video up on that tomorrow about why you're going to want uh, want to buy to, uh, WoW tokens now. As opposed to before the next expansion drops. Because if you're a real tycoon, that's what you'll do. So, I think that's it for this location. Uh, you can stay tuned to the video if you got a couple other... Um, questions basically i'm going to try to answer those also if you like this video make sure to like comment subscribe if you look in the link in the description below i listed all my uh, software hardware all that good stuff that i use to uh, record edit make videos uh, just because i had a couple people asking uh, what i use and uh, yeah so that's all in the description below and uh, yeah i think that's it for the video 
I'm um, pretty sure I cleared everything out for you guys. You guys should all be good. I got a little hint on the video tomorrow about buying WoW tokens. If you have enough money to buy a WoW token now, I recommend you do it, like, now. And just save it. Don't use it on anything. Don't use it for uh, Blizzard cash or um, don't just sell it on, like, I don't know. Don't do something stupid with it. Don't use it for game time, obviously. Um, just keep it in your inventory because once uh, Battle for Azeroth hits, those prices are going right up. And I'm going to make a video on it tomorrow. So if you buy your WoW token today, you'll get your video tomorrow about what to do with it, how to store it, best ways to keep it, stuff like that. So I think that's going to be it for the end of this video. And uh, I'm going to see all you beautiful people in the next one. Goodbye.